Uh, I'm Fiona Kelly. Um, I'm in Desmond College in Newcastle West. And I'm Kayla McMahon, and I'm from the same school. And could you just tell me a little bit about your project? Okay, so our project is called Firmhand, and what it is, it's uh, gloves that are heat retaining and waterproof, but we also um, designed components to add to assist farmers. So uh, what we have is a blade, and this blade um, is magnetically attaches here. Uh, it can cut baling twine or uh, cable ties. Um, we also have a mobile phone uh, attached in here. Uh, you can connect it to your own phone so that um, if you are in an emergency or you can't get your own phone out of your pocket, you have one up here that you can call anyone on. This glove then has two LED torches, <laughs> so if you're working in low light, you can see um, what you're doing. There's also an electric fence detector right here. So um, this will detect the signal from the electric fence and um, it will send off a buzzing sound to let you know that there's a live wire there. Hi, my name is Alex Brady and I'm from uh, Poshco Vown. There's also Jack Brady, but he's sick today. Uh, so we've come up with the idea of putting a mechanism on the gates for livestock trailer. This idea should take, should um, make the loading process much easier for farmers and should um, decrease the amount of injuries associated with loading livestock. A lot of injuries happen on the farm each year and unfortunately uh, livestock is the third main reason for injuries on the farm each year. So um, coming from farming backgrounds we thought that this is a big problem, we wanted to help the farmers out in Ireland. Well at the moment we're patent pending so we're definitely going to bring it forward and hopefully sell it out to as much people as we can to get this aware as we feel that farm safety is a massive issue out in Ireland. Uh, my name is Prosh and I'm from North Monastery Secondary School and I live in Cork. I'm Jack, uh, I'm uh, from Nottmond, Parsley Secondary School, uh, I'm from Park. I'm Kelvin, I'm from Nottmond Secondary, and I'm from Park. Uh, we have, we wired up a colour sensor to an Arduino board and it senses the amount of blood in the cow's milk and when it uh, senses a specific amount of blood in the cow's milk it activates the buzzer and the buzzer goes off so the farmer knows when to stop milking. My name is Paddy Riley and this is Brad Finn and uh, we're from Arts School Fodder, Granard County Longford. The project really started when uh, glass was introduced um, and we just say, uh, we're looking at all the guidelines and we've seen uh, bird boxes and I, I have a farm at home and we're just looking at us seeing that are they really doing their job, are they really beneficial? We, we found that the farmers were 50-50 on whether they were beneficial and whether they weren't beneficial. But we, we think that from a, a great aspect of that result, like the farmers didn't really know the guidelines. Only 33% of them placed them in the right direction and like 4% of them placed them in the incorrect height above ground level. Um, I'm Laura Campion and I'm from Balna and I go to St Mary's Secondary School. Um, I'm Holly Kenny and I'm in TY in St Mary's Secondary School in Balna. Um, so I live on a farm so we're very aware of the over-reliance on heavy farm machinery because of the increase in part-time farmers. So we want to discover how this heavy machinery compressed the soil and how that impacted the growth of plants and microorganisms in the soil. But we, our results were what we predicted so we weren't really shocked at what we found and things like that. I think probably the most shocking thing was how quickly the microorganisms are covered after compression, which is a very positive sign. Uh, my name's James and I'm from Roscommon. Uh, my name's Peter and I'm from Roscommon. And my name's Kayla and I'm from Roscommon. Uh, well, it's about how does the mar affect the surrounding water quality? Like the runoff water from the animal waste, does it affect the surrounding drinking water that people like consume? It was actually, the drainage system actually done its job with the elephant mart and all the marts. But we didn't want it to do its job. We wanted it did not work, so we could go deeper into it. But it done its job, so we couldn't go as deep as we wanted to. So we had to work with the Roscommon County Council to using like their machinery, and it's just very high tech like stuff we've never worked with before. Um, I'm Colin Mulch, and um, I we test we done the project on my farm because my father's been um, growing kale since 2010, and yeah, he's always had good results from it. Like the cattle come out in fine condition. Uh, I'm Sean Cregan. Uh, my dad's a farmer too, but he doesn't plant the kale uh, during the winters at all. So. And what are the main benefits that you found um, for the kale? That uh, when like they're they put they brought on so much more weight. Like we tested three animals, and there was such a um, difference between all three of them. Like the one that stayed indoors, she didn't put on any weight at all in the three-week period, and one that was she went from indoors to outdoors, she lost five kg 
from different environments and the one that was in Kale, she put on 6kg.